Hello and welcome. In this short video, we will review how to properly use the ECS Inc. International ST Microelectronics Crystal Selection Tool. This tool is specific to the STM 32-bit ARM Cortex family of microcontrollers. The content for this tool was taken directly from the ST Microelectronics application note AN2867. ECS Inc. offers the widest selection of approved crystals for STM32 MCUs, with more than 60 references for the LSE kilohertz clock and more than 600 references for the HSE megahertz clock. This tool was designed to help simplify the crystal selection process and allow engineers to make considered choices for the crystals they will use in their design. It also provides links to specific data sheets and available inventories from our distribution sales partners. To access this tool from the home page, you can hover over resources and then over design tools and then click on STM32 Crystal Selection Tool. You will be taken to the landing page for the tool. On this page, you will get the description of what the tool is, a link to a white paper on the STM32 design considerations, and a link to the STM32 tool. Click on Take Me There. This will open up the tool in full screen mode. The selection tool provides everything an engineer will need to select the appropriate crystal and required load capacitors for the STM32 series they are using. The selection tool will open in the kilohertz or LSE crystal selection page. If your design requires a megahertz or HSE crystal, you can click on the link that is located on the right hand side of the screen. There are many options to filter your desired results. You can select your STM32 MCU series and desired drive level, or you can narrow down the results based on technical specifications. As you select your MCU and drive level or start to make selections from the specifications, the parts listed in the table below will simultaneously narrow down to the selectable parts that only those that match your criteria. The Crystal Selector Results table, located under the selectable fields, will display the available part numbers followed by their electrical specifications. On the right side of the table, there are links to view and download data sheets and links for you to check available inventories. Keep in mind, if you're searching by electrical specifications, you will need to have a good understanding of your design and board layout. Package size, load capacitance, and stray capacitance on the board are all critical in order to achieve balanced and accurate oscillation. Let's review the selection process. The first column is the STM32 MCU series. This column allows you to find and select the microcontroller that you will be using. The STM32 LSE series are listed from C0 to WLE, with subseries related to the appropriate crystal drive levels and the STM32 HSE series are listed from STM32C0 all the way down to STM32WLE. Both tools give you the option of searching by the STM32 series and the ability to refine your search by choosing from the available specifications. Below the STM32 series selections is rating. If your design requires an automotive certification, you can select the AEC Q200 box. If you choose the not sign, then all automotive parts will be excluded. At the top of the second column is the gain margin of the oscillator loop. All options offer a GM crit of greater than five. This ensures a safe gain margin and guarantees startup performance. This allows engineers to refine their choices of ESR, CL, and C0 to match their design needs. In column three on the top is the actual GM crit. This is a calculated value from the range of crystals available to meet the design needs and is equal to or lower than the design GM crit max. So it works like this. Any selected MCU and drive level has a GM or transconductance. When this is calculated in the tool by the actual GM crit, we get the corresponding gain margin. 
you can find GM listed next to the part series in the table below. Let's run through some steps for selecting a crystal in the LSE tool. First, pick the MCU that we want. In this case, we are going to go with the F4 G1 series standard drive level. When we make this selection, we see the list of parts with a gain margin greater than 5 that could be used. These are all the crystals with an actual GM crit suitable to work with the F4 G1 standard MCU. If we were looking for the lowest power option, we would then select the 0.3614 GM crit. Now, when we look at the table below, we can see that we've arrived at the suitable part for this STM32 series, the ECS.327-6-34RR-TR is our choice. Now let's run through the selection of an HSE crystal. First, we click on the link on the right side of the page to go to the HSE selection tool. If we look at the far right hand column, the STM32 series column, we scroll down and we will select the STM32 WB series. We see the selections only include crystals with a frequency of 32 megahertz. If we want to further refine our search, we can see there are options for operating temperature, tolerance, and stability. Let's select minus 40 to 85 and plus or minus 20 ppm stability. You can see that we've arrived at the part that best suits our requirements. The ECS-320-8-CTN-TR. If we move over and we click on the datasheet link, We can view the actual data sheet for this series of parts, and we can even download it if we want to. If we go back to the tool and go over to the right side again, we can click on the inventory link. We see that a new window is now open, and it shows available inventories by authorized distributor. This link also offers a cart icon for a purchasing now option. The entire database of STM32 series crystals is searchable and will allow for many different searches. Try selecting different specs to help find the crystal that best suits your design. Remember, you can reset any field by clicking on the selected box. Also, all fields can be reset at any time by using the Clear All Filters button. For a more technical review of the STM32 MCU transconductance and drive levels, please see the accompanying white paper. We hope you find this STM32 crystal selection tool useful, and we thank you for your time.